Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and hope you guys are doing great. And let's get right into this video. So I am doing a, another Madam Glam um, collaboration um, unboxing of some of their gel polishes and gel paint. We I just love how cute their boxes are. Look how easy it is to open, right? So adorable. But so this is um the gel paints I got, a golden white. I am so excited. I love gel paints. And then I got a pink and red and also that sparkly pink. So the red is true fire brick red and then the pink is pink me up that is adorable adorable name and this is sparkling hearts um and they also gave me a gel uh application brush which is pretty nice and i'm guessing that is for the um gel paints but in this uh nail set i won't be using it because i'll be using my liner brush for the nail design that i'll be using so i will be doing another lazy girl method which are my favorites because it's so easy to do <laughs> and it doesn't take me forever um, i'm using these full cover square nail tips from wiggets or wow gets i should say and my um, born pretty nail uh, solid tip nail glue and so um, i'm doing my usual uh, attaching the glue to the nail and i love this glue because you could just place it in press down the tip and boom i lift up the nail and i can just cure it move it around until you know i want it how you know it's straight and boom i just cure it so i do that for um the rest of the nails So now the only problem with these nail tips is that the size um, is either too small or too big. So for the ring finger, um, I'm going in with my straight edge nail clipper and just clipping some of the sides so that I can get that um, more of a coffin shape or a tapered square, I should say, more of a tapered square look. And I'm gonna do that for the thumb also. So now I'm just going in with my nail file, going around the cuticle area, make sure that I file off any um, excess glue that might have spilled out and making sure that the cuticle area is flush to the natural nail and then shaping the sides just to get um, more of that tapered square look. Now I'm taking my base coat from Madam Glam and I received this in my previous package and if you didn't see that video go check it out I will leave it um as a card in the type right top right corner so go check out that video um those gel polishes um are nude and some pink and they are amazing um so one thing about madam glam um they are 100 percent vegan 
cruelty free. Um, they have like so many different gel polishes and gel paints. They even have builder gels. They also have um they also been out since like 2015. So um their you know knowledge with gels obviously they have experience for so many years. So I highly recommend um their gel paints and gel polishes. Now, um, like I said, if you've seen my previous video, this is Food Coma, one of my favorites. Look how beautiful that color is. Oh, I love this like beige color. It's so beautiful and it's, you know, so opaque. You only need one coat and that is it. Um, so this is going to be my base color for my design and I'm just going to, uh, do all of the nail tips, cover all the nail tips with this color, and then go in and cure it for 60 seconds. Guys, tell me this is not a beautiful color. Look at that. So check out Madam Glam and check out my code below, um, you know, get some gel polishes, gel paints, and get a discount while you're at it. Yeah. So I'm going to be using all of the polishes for this design. And first I'm going in with this red, which is um, um, True Brick Red, Brick Fire Red, sorry and look at that red i am so excited i was so happy these polishes came for my valentine set or valentine video to w make one of them um so my design is like very different it's definitely it's a abstract design i guess you want to call it um i'm just putting colors all over the place so um but it turns out so cute so continue watching if you want to see how the, the rest of the nails look so now i'm going in with pink me up and i just love that name i think that's so cute for this pink um so yeah i'm just gonna go in with pink and for the nails like i try to use each color um on the nails but in like different ways remember this is abstract so they're all gonna not match the same um, design for each nail so um, just continue watching and I hope you like how my design turns out <laughs> And now I'm going in with the white gel paint and I cannot wait to use this to see how opaque this white is. A lot of the times it's hard to get a good white color. 
um, but gel paints tend to be more on the thick side and more opaque so that's why i chose some gel paints this time so let's see how this goes on um if it goes over the color with full like coverage then it's a good white paint oh yes look at it oh yes look it's good nice thick not runny oh yeah look how white that is that's it's a really good white yes oh my god this actually might be my new favorite white that i go to i know you always guys see me go um using my uh white gel liner brush the gel that gel um polish but i think this might be my go-to look at that i might be using this for every white thing white like thing you know design that i want to do mm. Yeah, okay, so, well, like I said, I am still doing an abstract and just freestyling my nails, so I'm going to let you guys continue watch my design. I fall for you every time I try to resist You can get away, bum cheese, bitch, feel good and everything All I want to hear is another thing that we play Sit right next to you, you I try not to show how I feel about you So now I'm going in with the gold gel paint and look how beautiful that looks guys. It is so shimmery. Oh my god, look at that. And it goes over the other colors so perfectly. Very good, like opaque. Look how opaque that is. Oh my goodness. I think this might be my new favorite uh gold gel paint you know i think i'm gonna try more of the gold their uh gel paints to see how it is and now um i went back in with the red like i said guys i am doing an abstract design so i'm just going with the flow looking where i want more colors but i de definitely recommend that gold guys that gold is beautiful oh my god that was a pretty gold now i'm going in with sparkling hearts which is this pink uh sheer shimmery um gel polish oh my god look at that that is so pretty oh this is really nice this is a cute nice color i like this and i like the glitter oh my god oh look at this so this color is not opaque you know, because of the glitter and everything. It's not an opaque color, um, which is fine because you don't need 
every gel polish that you have to be opaque sometimes you do want a sheer color that can go over a color especially this is glitter so that would be perfect like if i had um to make it opaque if i wanted to make it opaque i could just put it over a um darker pink and it'll be you know a glitter nice glitter pink and then if i wanted it to be sheer i could just put it over some clear nails you know and boom i have a sheer pink glitter nail so that's perfect um so now i'm going in with my white back again and making some hearts and i decided to make white hearts on the um pinky the middle finger and the thumb and then for the ring finger and the pointer finger i made some gold hearts And now I'm going in with my Madame Glam top coat. And the only thing I don't like about this top coat is that it leaves a tacky layer. I wish it, it was a um, no wipe uh, top coat where you don't have to, you know, use alcohol to wipe off that tacky layer. But it's fine. It still does the job. It's still nice and shiny. And, um... Yeah, so I'm just going to top coat all these nails and cure it for 60 seconds and then we can come back with the final look. So I noticed that some of the gel polish, the food coma gel polish got um, flooded into my cuticle. So um, I just took my file and if you can see, I just filed off that little piece and now it's perfectly great. So now um, I decided that I did not like it shiny. <laughs> I know, I know. So I wanted to make it matte and now I'm going in with some matte coat, matte top coat and just curing that for 60 seconds. Maybe next time I'll um, try the Madame Glam matte top coat to see how that works. But as of right now, I'm using my own matte coat and matte top coat and this is how it looks oh my god guys look how pretty that is oh my god i'm so in love i think it looked better matte you know i like shiny nails but i think this look really good matte oh i'm really in love look at those colors and the gold just shines still you know even though it's matte it's still so like bright and even that that glitter i really fell in love with these colors like madame glam is doing a really good job with their gel polishes or maybe i'm just picking the right colors but no 
They have some really good polishes, guys. Check it out. Use my code. Get some discount. Money. You know, money off. Like, if you like some gel polishes and you like good quality and you like, you know, good um, thickness, get these gel polishes. And now I'm just showing you, you know, all running down all of the polishes that I use today. So true Fire Brick Red is the red, obviously. Sparkling Hearts was the pink glitter um, gel polish, my gold gel paint. Now Pink Me Up is this pink, beautiful pink color. And my go-to white now <laughs> is the white gel paint. I'm going to definitely be using this for like all my French and, you know, anything that I need to do with white. So, yeah, guys. Um, and I didn't get to use the brush, but you will see me in the future using the brush. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.